Greetings and welcome back to Empires of the Undergrowth. In our last episode, we took a little detour from the storyline in order to experience the life and times of a hungry spider. His life and times did not end well. He picked a fight with a tiger beetle that was significantly larger than him. You know, if he'd actually killed it, he probably would have exploded from eating it anyway, so it's probably best that he ended that way. For now, let's get back to the story. So we do have a Foracorium challenge coming up for the tier we're in, and that is two. Now, I don't expect to actually beat it today. I don't know anything about it. I have no idea what's going to be going on. But we're going to prepare as if we did have a chance. It's very likely I'm going to have to do the two tiered missions in there in challenge mode in order to gain extra resources in order to complete that. But you know what? Let's find out and let's see how things go, right? Oh, load. I guess maybe... Yeah, that's... You know what it was? Since I did the Hungry Spider, it wasn't a continue at that point, was it? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to prepare as best we can. Okay, they're all just standing around. Now, I can add an extra 25 spiders. I have been advised that what I'm going to need to do is to reduce the number of the soldiers in which I have. And that's probably a very good idea. So I'm going to have to do some deletions over here. Because as I learned in the Queen of the Hill, the last mission from this tier... Sometimes, as long as whoever you have in front of you is buying you time, as long as the missile guys are doing their job, everything will probably turn out all right. So I probably don't need as many melee because I'm going to go with mortars. And I think that's probably the first thing we should do. Uh, actually, the first thing I'm going to do is this. Save. So I'm doing a hard save right now just in case what I do here is actually disastrous and I want to roll back. I'm not saying I'm going to, just in case. All right, so now the big thing here is first let's go to the DNA area here. All right, so we're going to unlock the wood ant, right? I do have a lot of jelly here, so I shouldn't have any problem. All right, so I guess, yeah, that's actually, I don't think I have to spend anything there. Do I spend it over here? I'm guessing, does this unlock this? Let's find out. All right, so I am going to use the mortar. I hear the mortar is the best. That's what we're going to do. So this is the, uh, the strain over here. I didn't have to do anything here. All right, now I think I should probably start... Well, first things first. Yeah, let's just do some upgrading because I do want him to be able to get up to uh, level 3, right? All right, so that gives him the ability to get to level 3. All right, now let me take a quick look around here. Uh, I didn't research these, so I may want to hold off on this. Deal additional 4.2 physical damage immediately. That's interesting. Deal additional 6 venom damage over time. Oh, that's interesting. So now, I guess they're all 80. Okay, that one is actually 100. Crippling. Target takes an extra 40% damage from further physical attacks. Oh, that would be good for comboing, wouldn't it? I mean, if the mortar does damage then whoever's meleeing it will do extra damage. Ooh, that's actually interesting. Weakening. Target takes an extra 40% from further venom attacks. I don't know. I think maybe I should just kind of hold on to what I have for the moment. You know, because I don't really know. I guess I'm going to have to experience what's the best. All right, but I'm going to look over here for a minute. Oh, hold a second here. What do we have? You know, as I said, I don't expect to win this one, so I'm not going to mess with the queen. I know the queen has some really good ones, some that will bring her, where is it? Royal decree, the royal guard. It'll instantly spawn everything that's a lava to actually protect her. Um, you know, I'm going to hold on to this for now. Like I said, I don't expect this to work out, but I do want to have the mortars. All right, so here's the question. Where am I going to put them? I'm thinking over here. I do believe that I'm going to get moved into a new area eventually. As a matter of fact, if you look at this, rehouse the colony. I do believe that means they're going to take me and put me somewhere else where I'm going to begin from scratch. All right, so what I'm going to do is let's make a spot. And I have to watch my uh, real estate, by the way, here. 
Okay, 40 and 51. I do have enough room. This shouldn't be a problem, right? As long as I don't waste any space, right? Okay, 34. And this, and this. Okay, I have 29 left. Uh, real estate shouldn't be a problem. Okay, they kind of cut into this one. Not really a problem. All right, let's begin with um, putting down the mortars that we have here. Okay, that's the wood ant nursery tile. I'm guessing since it's 60 that that's our mortars. All right, and we still do have a lot of food on the surface, so that's not going to be a problem. Let's put down the 25, and then I'll worry about getting rid of uh, some of the other guys, right? I mean, I have lots of food, so this shouldn't be a problem, right? The Erector workers have raised their first Formica ant. Incredible. I wasn't sure it was even possible. Okay, and we see that is 19. Obviously, I'm going to need a lot more than that. And I think that's it. I can fit one more. I need to fill a couple over here, I think. All right, hold it a second. Break out of this. All right, I got 25 spots left. I don't need any spots for anything else. As long as I get what I need for these guys, I'll probably be okay. And take that one out too. And take that one out. All right, so I have 17 territory spots left. I can have one more of these before I start deleting, which I'm going to have to start doing. All right, let me think. How many is that now? That's 24. I'd kind of like them closer to being even, you know what I mean? All right, so that's the last we can do of that. Unless I start doing deletions, which I'm going to do. I'm going to cut around the edges here. I mean, right here. Hold on, let's just do check the upgrade. I wasn't able to upgrade some of these, right? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to trash that one. And I think we're going to trash a little bit along the sides here. Move it down this way. All right. I'm going to hold off on that. Okay, these two in here are probably not very useful. All right. I still have 3,000 food, but then again, I haven't upgraded these guys yet. All right, so what it is, they're, they're undoing the tiles. I should probably do something about this. Hold it. Let's take a look at this. I'm going to have to redo some of these. All right, these three, I think, can go. How many do I have at the moment? 74. Oh, yeah, uh, that's not a problem. All right, let's get rid of some of these. The fringe ones, right? And we can do this, too. And probably that one, that one, and a couple by the door. Okay, maybe I should put one back over here. All right. Um, or maybe I should just take these out. That's probably the best idea. Let's see. What do we got going on here now? I could probably take those out. All right. There we go. Okay. While that's going on, I can add to my numbers over here. And then this, this, this. And then some more. This, 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 this. Okay, and maybe this, this, and this. I want to keep the optimal shape so maybe I can get level threes out of all of them. All right, how many is that? That's 37. But you know, I can get more, so why don't we just do that? If I finish this top tier, I think I'll be fine. 
which means someone over here has got to die. All right, let's take a quick, let's go back to here. I'm probably not going to be able to do anything with, okay, maybe this one. All right, you know what? Just pick one. Get rid of that. I could actually get rid of some of these workers too, but because I'm clearly not going to need them for the big fight, right? All right, and put that one there. All right, and then I have to start spending a lot of food to do some upgrading. Okay, so that's 44 and 59. I think that's going to do the job. We do have the... Okay, could somebody come in here and get all this food? Wait a minute, where are the workers? Wait a minute, these guys, want to put these guys with them for the moment. Okay, one, your workers. Get over here and get all this food. The Queen's Guard can't be busied with such things. They're all going, My lady, please don't let him kill us! Please! It's for the greater good. All right, and come over here too. Get all that food. Get all that food. All of you guys are just leaving this stuff lying around. All right, you know what? For the moment, we're going to do this too. All right, so let's start doing some upgrading here. And maybe I should send them to the surface to start getting some of that food. I might need it. But let's go with this. This is going to be expensive because there's 60 each when you do that, right? Oh, don't have enough coverage in there. There will be. The good thing about these guys is that when they're, uh, when they're level three... Oh, you know what it is? I, I designated these guys for doing things. All right, uh, tell you what. Why don't we have... Actually, I think they're all done anyway. All right, we'll put you back over here. You don't have to do anything. I think the other guys are done too. So you can cancel that task. Because I need stuff being done here. I'm guessing we're going to be invaded unless we have to go to the surface. I mean, we might have to go to the surface. I really have no idea what's coming. Now, I also did some breaking over here, so I have to see what I can do about this. Yeah, I'm going to have to send them to the surface immediately, too. All right, why don't we send these guys here, let them get some food? As a matter of fact, you know, I am not above sending these guys to get some food for me, too. All right, so let's go back inside here. I mean, there's a lot of them. Just use them, right? Okay, so how are we doing over here? Oh, what are you guys? I'm trying to, oh, you know what it was? I gave three an order and then I moved these guys over into three. No, no, you guys are dismissed. That's interesting, the, uh, the marker. And what actually held on to the commands, and when I moved somebody over there, they just immediately picked up on that. All right, so let's get some more food. All right, they're dropping it early, right, right next to the door there, you know? All right, so now that the food is flowing, let's see what we can do about some more upgrades. Let's get the level twos going here first. All right. Okay, can't do those until the other ones are upgraded. Okay, how about over here? I have some threes I need to do over here. Here, get that two. Yeah, I did do some breaking while I was over here. Although, I don't quite remember if everybody was a three here. It's possible they weren't. All right, so how are you guys doing with that food? Okay, you guys can't just see this over here. All right, tell you what, why don't you come over here? Okay, over here, grab that food. All right, meanwhile, these guys are doing the real work. 
Now, I am going to have to keep a lot because I'm guessing the fight is going to be kind of ugly and I'm probably going to take some serious losses. So, uh, I think first and foremost, upgrading these guys is the most important thing. All right, so now I can get some level threes in here and that's what I want. I want area effects. So, it's the reason we have them here, right? They'll upgrade the ones around it, too, you know, so. Okay, I just spent a lot of food there. The other guys over here are meat shields. That's what it comes down to. All right, so how is the surface stuff going? All right, so you guys now can come over here and help. All right, I see. Is this that, that little grub down here? Yeah, he can, he can stand witness to the uh, magnificence of our destruction, which I am completely confident is going to happen. I think that at this point, I could probably... Okay, you guys really can't see that from here. All right, come over here. It's not their normal job, so I'm not holding it against them. I'm going to move you guys up here a little bit because, yeah, it doesn't seem to work too well. All right, you know what? I think I have spent all of the food that I'm going to. Okay, uh, up here. Because I do need to save a bunch of it for replacements, right? All right, and the workers will be just basically on roam at that point because... Um, yeah, I don't want something bad happening. Okay, so you guys are dismissed. You guys are dismissed. All right, the workers are going to go over here. All right, I'm going to put the melee in one, and I'm going to put the, uh, the mortars in two, just in case I want to put them in different places. All right, is there anything easy I can do here? I mean, if I can get an extra mortar or two up to level three, that'd be great. Yeah, the shape allows you to... See, if I do this one, this one will allow me to do it. Oh, uh, that is not... No, absolutely no level twos. No, absolutely not. Speaking of that, uh, I don't want to spend too much. Uh, but I would like a couple of these. Just a couple of them. That's it. 1,100. I'm not spending any more. Okay, well, you know what? It's time to find out what kind of horrible thing... That masochist has in store for us. All right, let's do this. And as I said, I know this is going to fail, but I just need to see what it is we're going to face. All right, Foracarium Challenge 2. Test the might of your Foracarium colony. It will survive the scientists have planned. All right, well, you mean that one guy. She seems pretty cool. He doesn't. All right, if we win, we get a bunch of stuff. All right, so let's just do it. The colony seems to have made significant progress. Perhaps it is time we began phase two of the trial. Agreed. I will prepare the feeder colonies. The what? Okay. Just let's in case. Let's them in with a familiar disturbance. Introduce 20 Formica Fusca ants. The Fusca colony is attached, and the ants are on their way. Okay, move them up a little further. Okay, here they come. I see they haven't lost their potency. Now let's try the Formica Rufa. Ads. I want room. The I want room for all the mortars. Aggressive. Our erectors will need to put up a strong defense. Adding 20 Rufa ants. Okay, that's still not a big problem here. All right, hold on a minute. There go the mortars. 
Okay, seeds have been dropped. Once again, our raptors have neutralized the threat to their queen. Good. Continue the experiment as before. But don't push the colony too hard. Of course not. That would be irresponsible. No! Don't leave us with him! He's a fiend! Introducing 40 Rufa ants. Okay, you can put as many ants in as you want. Those don't concern me. I probably shouldn't say that. All right. All right, they're, they're in the dead zone right there. Okay, so I have 1133 in terms of food. That number goes down when I start losing. And it just went down a little bit. All right. Excellent defense. Increasing to 50 Rufa ants. Okay. Here they come. I'm not concerned with this so far. I mean, they're just going into the meat grinder. Easily, this is going to get really bad. Like I said, I fully and I fully expect not to be able to do this. But then again, if I knew how overpowered I was for the last one, I would have tried it on hard before God, doing medium. God. Hmm. Would it be unfair to help the colony out? Perhaps. Well, but I'm feeling generous. Collect your seeds swiftly, my little ants. I have enough seeds, thank you. I don't trust you. Although, now, let's see how they handle the Rufa and the Fusca invaders. Okay. We'll start with 30 of each. All right, here, let's move these guys a little bit towards here for a minute. If I take too many losses, I might have to send my workers to the surface to get them. Not the, uh... A wonderful victory on two fronts. Not the Queen's Guard, but the other ones. Perhaps we should try three colonies this uh -oh. time. Introducing 30 of each. Rufa, Fusca, and Raptor ants. All right, what do we have here? Okay, this could start becoming a problem. Okay, seeds have been dropped. Good, good. A little helping hand for what comes next. Collect it quickly. Faster, faster. All right, I, I'm going to see what happens if I send the workers to the surface to get those. Hmm, I wonder how long they will survive against a sustained flow from all three colonies. Oh, that's not Let's good. Let's see. Okay, I'm calling them off because they're just going to die and it's going to cost me... Um, it's going to cost me food. You are doing well, my intrepid raptors, but what's the... Oh, what is the... A giant tiger beetle has joined the fray. And he's, he's, oh my goodness. Okay, and he's dead. That didn't really cost me much. And another, and another. Oh no, three tiger beetles. Where are they? Okay, they're inside, all right. It's okay, they're getting killed. You know what? That's actually food for me. Here, you know, you guys go back into roaming. I mean, he's feeding me with those. I mean, my food just took a nice big jump. But that just tells me it's going to get ugly.
Wow, nearly 1,500 now in the food. That was really useful. My food is barely moving what at this point. Plans? But what's this? What he put spiders in! Uh, nine, ten wolf spiders. <sighs> it hardly seems fair. That's a problem. Oh my god. Oh, that is a big problem. If they go to the queen, I'm in trouble. Where's the queen? The queen is in danger. Perhaps I should stop the experiment. Okay, I have to I have to call them back. I have to call them back. She's about to die, isn't she? The queen is in danger. Perhaps I should stop the experiment. Yes, yes! Victory to the Eraptor! Oh. What's going on here? Uh, yes, the, the ants performed excellently against the Rufa. They just staved off an attack from 40 Rufa ants. 40? I think that's enough for now. We don't want to overstress them. Agreed. Okay, I didn't think I was going to do that. All right, I'm going to go with the extra royal jelly because I think that's probably a really good idea because I'm going to have to give them their abilities because I'm guessing there's going to be an escalation. All right, so I'm going to go with the extra royal jelly. And I don't think I would have survived hard on that. I really don't. I think that was just close. Oh, wow. That's a lot of food. That Continue is... Continue to watch over the formicarium. Additional experiments will be on hold for the time being. I understand. No more tests. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't like the way he said that. Okay, what is this? Okay, so I could put bad things in here? So if I drag... If, hold on a second. A new challenger has entered the arena. What? Okay, was that me doing that? Uh-oh. Um, get over here. And you guys get over here. Oh my goodness, that was me who did that, wasn't it? Oh, that was that was not right. Um, I thought it was like a drag drop. I had no idea I was just summoning them. Okay, by the way, we should be eating these ant, these uh, spiders, just saying. Do I want to put something else in there? How about a couple of tiger beetles, just for fun? Dinner time. Okay, those are actually probably, those are pretty big. But I mean, it, they're also going to be food. Okay, all right, so let's uh, break them off, break them off so they can just like grab all of that. And why don't we load up over here? You know, I'm gonna send the, um, I'm gonna send the soldiers out to gather this because why not? There's a lot of them. Uh, down here, there's some stuff down here. I will send all right, these other workers over here. Boom, send them. All right, well, that was actually Easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, 
Although the um, the addition of the spiders, especially the big one, I don't know what the uh, queen's health is. I know you can turn that on, but I kind of it now for at least for now don't want the extra stuff on the screen because I just want to show you the ants fighting. You know, I mean the marker is a little annoying in terms of covering up what's going on. But the thing about it is that, uh, you know, that's my way of keeping them there. So there's not really much I can do about that, right? All right, this is interesting. I could throw a whole bunch of stuff in here, but yeah, maybe we'll do that another time or something. All right, so let's take a look at the situation we have here. All right, so you have this one. What is this? This tank is not suitable for the upcoming tests. It is time to rehouse the colony. You will be awarded an amount of jelly during the switch based on the colony size, construction, and stored. Okay, so that means I probably want to make sure I get everything, right? I mean, I, I should get all the resources I can. So he's going to move me to a new location. I'm hoping that most of my resources will be intact. And then we'll be looking into doing these. Now, the question is this. Before doing that, should I do these in challenge mode? Is that something you guys would want to see? I kind of think that I may need the extra resources. And, and by that, I mean, I'm going to go for the jelly. That's what I'm talking about. I am just going to go for the jelly because I don't know if the food is going to carry over. I don't know if the uh, territory is going to carry over. But if they're talking about giving me, you know, my resources and jelly for rehouse the colony, it's probably going to carry my jelly over. And I do need to upgrade my guys. I'm actually, I said, I'm actually kind of surprised that I was able to do that. But it was close. I would not have been able to have done it on hard. Because that um, spider probably would have killed my queen. The other stuff, you know, I didn't know I was going to be attacked like that. And um, yeah, that one would have killed my queen. I'm guessing she was very low on health. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So let me know, do you want to see the challenges of this tier? Or should I just go ahead and move on and maybe save them for another time? I think having them fresh right now in my head and then adding the challenge might be a better idea. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.